Welcome back. It's 513 from providing a new home to refugees to raising money in honor of a fallen deputy. Here are the five things you need to know for the day ahead. Two brothers are cleared of murder charges in Clark County, but now their father is in trouble with the law. Court documents show Anthony Hottenstein Sr. is accused of lying when giving grand jury testimony, which was apparently discovered as he testified Tuesday in his son's trial. Hottenstein Sr.'s arraignment is scheduled for later this morning. His sons Jordan and Anthony Hottenstein were acquitted of murder charges Wednesday night. They had been accused of killing James Hall in July of 2011 in Springfield. Anthony was found guilty of assault, tampering with evidence, and improper handling of a firearm in a motor vehicle. A reminder for you to celebrate the upcoming holiday weekend safely to reduce the number of alcohol-related crashes. Just like last year, the Montgomery County Prosecutor is joining AAA to provide free cab rides home to Montgomery County residents during St. Patrick's Day weekend. To take advantage of the Arrive Safe program, you can call 449-9999 anytime between 6 p.m. today through 6 a.m. Monday. Cab fares up to $50 will be covered. An annual volleyball tournament honors a fallen Clark County deputy. Deputy Suzanne Hopper was killed New Year's Day of 2011 during a shootout at Enon Beach Mobile Home Park. The Special Olympics was one of Deputy Hopper's favorite charities, and now a volleyball tournament has been named in her honor. It starts tonight at 6.30 at Tecumseh Middle School on West National Road. It's a very special Friday for one Dayton family. It will get the keys to its brand new house. Habitat for Humanity will dedicate the home in the 1000 block of Woodley Road. It's for a family who came to the U.S. after escaping civil war and genocide in Burundi. Thanks to the efforts of volunteers, the couple's six children will now have their own beds to sleep in. The ceremony starts at 11 o'clock this morning. In a matter of hours, dozens of med school graduates will know where their hard work will take them. Graduating students in Wright State's Boonshoft School of Medicine will find out where they'll spend their residency during the annual Match Day. This is video from last year's event. Students will spend the next three to five years at designated hospitals before they're eligible for a medical license. Today's event starts at noon. It's at the Nutter Center. You can always find more information on these or any of today's top stories online at WDTN.